Hey, what's up guys? Guess where we're at today? We were at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor. Almost said Discovery Kingdom. <laughs> but anyways, it's been a couple years since I've been here. I want to get over here, check out the food, check out some of the, uh, the park, and uh, yeah, see what we can get into. We have about an hour until it closes because it's later on the day. Had a couple things to do before this, but uh, yeah, we're going to get in there, check it out, and uh, yeah, have a good day. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. First off, I just want to point out this parking lot. I don't know if they did it this year or last year, but they just redid the parking lot. Nice new pavement. You know, I'm kind of curious, since Six Flags is doing all this uh, solar panel roofing, I wonder if they're going to be coming here eventually one day. I don't know, we'll see. Be nice though. Especially in the summer, it gets hot out here. Alright, we've made our way into the water park. Now, this was used to be called Water World. Or, yeah, Water World. <laughs> but now, it is Hurricane Harbor by Six Flags. Conquered Water World. Man, back in the day, man, I used to be here a long time ago. There's actually a lot of history here when I was little. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's the park layout now. Little map. Been recently updated. So uh, we're going to start off to the right here and then work our way around. So we're here now. We're going to make our way this way and kind of come around and see what's going on back here. Because I think there might be some new stuff they're putting in. And also in this area, there used to be a big slide here. That is no longer there, so we'll see if uh, maybe we got future plans for that area. And then this just got added two years ago, this little area, so we'll check that out too as well. So anyways, let's, yeah, let's get into the park and uh, walk around. Oh man, I remember when they put this boat in here a couple years ago. I didn't think it would last very long. All the paint and everything's coming off. I mean, I like the, uh, the feature of it, but a lot of this boat is deteriorating into the water. <laughs> But I think the water is pretty clean. It is kind of nice. Though. I like this this fountain here. It's a good focal point right when you walk into the uh, into the park here. Oh, this is new. They put these like barriers right here. These weren't here before. You used to be able to just walk right in here and go to the picnic tables. So, huh? And they put a lot of garbage cans out here. That's a lot of garbage cans empty out. So this is funny. When I used to work at Coca Cola, this used to be a refill station. These two windows used to be Coca Cola machines, and now. I don't know what they're used for, but yeah, <laughs> just windows now. Anyways, it's hard to see these screens, but in this uh, facility over here, they have burgers, chicken strips, uh, double cheeseburger, all included in your meal plan. So if you do have a meal plan, you're good to go there. Um, there is some new stuff here. I think there's some tacos, car carnitas, tacos, and uh, some other stuff I want to check out, some nachos and stuff like that. So I think I want to grab that before I leave today. So I, yeah, <laughs> did come with an empty stomach. So. Man, I always say this. Once you're in this park, it does not feel like you're in Concord. They do a really good job with, especially with all these, uh, all the palm trees, all the, all the grass, and uh, I forgot these called these. Uh, don't know the name of it, but the, the hay umbrellas, <laughs> hay umbrellas. But yeah. Anyways, let's go uh, work our way over here. This is where the old water slide used to be, and see if uh, what's going on. So they have the rental cabanas over here. But it looks like they're not in use right now. This is the first day open, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be be utilized throughout the season. Today was actually uh, was projected to rain. We had a like a two or three percent chance of rain, and end up clearing out. So yeah, opening day, not too bad. It's a little uh, not as crowded as I expected, which is nice. So I can get some footage around the park. So, but yeah, these were uh, actually put here not too long ago. This is where the big slide used to be at. There used to be a huge slide that went up here and came down this way. Fun fact, my dad actually was on it years and years and years ago when I was like five or six years old and he got a, a burn on his leg from, from it. So <laughs> it was a, you know, one of those memories I just remember from that water slide. But uh, yeah, no longer here. I don't know what they're going to put back here now. Hopefully uh, something fun. So yeah, oh yeah, big rock mess. <laughs> this was the big area here. There's actually two slides here at one point, and I used to slide right down here, but uh, just cabanas. Oh man, yeah, this is a lot of, a lot of I don't want to record too much in this area because it looks kind of weird. Some guy just kind of walking around the park recording people, but uh, trying to get good footage for you guys. This is what you're going to be looking at. Got a water park here, and then there's like a, this whole moat thing that goes around the whole park here, so a lot of fun. Oh, they even took down these slides. These were a lot of fun. So a little history here. Back when I was in elementary school, they used, 
they used to have field trips here. St- I'm sure they still do, but back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember, but a group of kids had passed away because they thought it was fun to all get on the slide at once. And unfortunately, they all came crashing down. But man, yeah, these slides were the <laughs> the park these park slides to go on back when I was little. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, yeah, they're going to be bringing something back because they still have this little pool area here that they're going to keep. So it's not part of the construction. So it looks like they might be putting some new slides here. Who knows, maybe maybe next year, <laughs> depending how fast they get these slides up and going. Oh yeah, this is a fun area right here. Look, they put in little benches in here for you now. I don't remember those being the last time, but cool little area. Calypso Tiki's, I got more cabanas back here by the, the wave pool. Yeah, definitely a lot of fun. Surfside Grill, slice of pizza. Can't go wrong with Six Flags Pizza Man. Hopefully it's as good as Discovery Kingdom's because Discovery Kingdom's pizza is pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm not getting pizza today. I'm saving my appetite for some tacos. Oh, the wave pool's not going. I wonder what's going on there. That's not good. It's just a very flat, wavy piece of water right now. <laughs> Hopefully they get that going and uh, they fix that because that's a big, big thing to have here is that wave pool. Got the Breaker Beach Loungers. These are really cool. The big kahuna. This is really cool. You get a f- group of friends on an inner tube, a uh, raft, and it goes all the way down, kind of like a, uh, uh, it's called Grizzly River Run, but you're, instead of floating on a different kind of raft, you're, you're getting wet. You go up these uh, slopes pretty high too as well. So it's a lot of fun. Definitely worth getting down on. I've ridden it once, <laughs> once. Now they have rafts down here, also inner tube, sorry. You can rent, and uh, I'm not sure how much they are, but we will find that out later. But uh, this is Typhoon. I believe it's like four slides down this. Yeah, four slides. Pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely don't plan on uh, jumping in the water today. <laughs> I'm hoping to have some time, get down to Great America after this. So stay tuned, guys. The next video will be possibly Great America. They close at eight today, so we will have some time to drive down there jump in the park and maybe enjoy it for a little bit so we'll see this is the newest one of the newest things they've had in the park looks like it's down right now it's pretty good a lot of a lot of you know fun on it and then splash water cabanas over here this is typhoon i think it's typhoon uh cyclone cyclone but this is a lot of fun man you get in here and you get up the walls and stuff but uh yeah definitely a lot of fun it's told that it was closed on the app but it looks like it's open today so it's kind of nice it's nice over here. More cabanas, man. That's what I like to see. That was the one thing this park was lacking back in the day when it was conquered uh, Waterworld. Or, uh, yeah, Waterworld. No, Waterworld? I can't remember the name of this. Hold on. This thing, man. It's like a, it's a waterways half pipe. <laughs> it is uh, pretty scary going down, but it's, it's actually fun. You go up pretty high on this side. Only a few people have fallen off. You're, you're good. You're fine. No, I'm <laughs> totally kidding, guys. <laughs> totally kidding. Nobody uh, that I know has fallen off this thing. It is very safe and a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that was decent. Breakpoint plunge. Now, this is another big one. I've only did this once and holy moly. So when you're inside of these little containers up there, from what I remember is I heard a heartbeat. They put a heartbeat sound really loud. Oh yeah, it gets you going. The adrenaline and then you just drop. You want to lay your head all the way back, I recommend, because it will, you will hit, the, hit your head if you lift it up at all. So yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, so so far, not really a whole lot different from the previous years. Um, as far as that big slide in the back, I really hope they put something nice back there. Something new and uh, Man, Six Flags down south has a lot of stuff going on down there, so maybe bring something up here. Okay, Wipeout Bar and Grill. This is where we're gonna find our big Bavarian brat sandwich. Brat, bratwurst, jumbo hot dogs. I don't see tacos though. I haven't seen tacos yet, so I'm gonna find out where that's at. All right, so I guess it's that Surfside Grill. I didn't know those, I saw, I saw pizza, but I guess they have tacos as well, so. We'll head down there and check it out. Nice day at Waterworld. Hurricane Harbor. <laughs> By the way, if you want a locker, it's $11 for standard and $13 for the big one. So there you go. 
All right, so I understand it's the first day open, but I feel like some of the staff don't know where anything's at. I asked uh, for tacos, and now I've been told a third location where the tacos are at. So we're gonna head up there, look for these tacos. It's actually where I guess where the burgers are at. So I didn't see them on the menu, so we'll just go over again and look at it. But yes, definitely something fun is coming back to this area. I can't wait to see it. They haven't really uh, advertised it yet, so man we'll see we'll uh i'll keep you guys updated for as much as i can which reminds me if you guys like these kind of things definitely subscribe hit that notification bell because i will be coming back here throughout the summer just to see if there's any updates and as soon as they announce what's going to be here as well i'll come up back here and check it out so yeah all right so they have funnel cakes over here as well i didn't see that earlier a little funnel cake sign over here for double scoop cone 12.50, double scoop cup, and funnel cakes, funnel sundaes are $20, but they don't count as a meal plan, it's just like Discovery Kingdom. And your three flavors of ice cream, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Alright, so the park isn't that big, but it's not here. No tacos there, it's just burgers. Burgers, funnel cakes, chicken strips, chicken sandwiches. Man, they need uh, some wings here, man, that would be nice. I think they used to have wings here, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so I guess it's over here. I didn't think it was over here because I, I thought it was a refill station, but I guess it's sure is tacos. Alright, located right in front of Big Kahuna, this little hut here. This is where you're going to find your super nachos, your carnitas, your uh, carne asada nachos and tacos but uh, I got the uh, carnitas tacos three for $17.99 but uh, that comes with the meal plan so there you go I asked for uh, some cheese and uh, they said all they had was nacho cheese and I said yeah sure throw it on there so yeah try it out this is it looks good all right <laughs> not bad I love tacos so can't beat tacos I hope that it's not too bad Let's see I do like the nacho cheese I added to it. it gives it a little kick to it. The salsa is not really high, hot. It's not really a, like a kick to it at all. It's very tomato-y, you know? Um, the shell is kind of stale. I get it at the end of the day, that's probably why, but um, overall it's not too bad. It's got a nice crunch to it, but the outsides are a little bit stale, but um, yeah. Overall, I'd probably give it like a 5, 5.5 5 out of 10. So. Not the best tacos, the Six Flags Discovery Kingdom tacos, Viva La Fiesta, were, those were good. <laughs> Definitely head over there if you guys have not yet, but uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, I ended up finishing them all, <laughs> of course, but uh, like I said, not bad. Um, would I get them again? I think I'll try the, uh, the carne asada next time. Carnitas, I don't know, I felt like the Six Flags uh, Discovery Kingdoms was a little better. Um, you had more options to put on the taco. Here, they didn't really give you uh, any options other than salsa. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, so, but other than and, and then, uh, the nacho cheese, because that's what they had in there. But uh, if they had other options, maybe some sour cream, which I, you know, I'm a sour cream fan. Maybe some cheese and uh, avocado. Man, like that's the other thing. I know it's an event over at Discovery Kingdom, but uh, you know they're gonna go a little all out. But uh, it'd be nice to have a little more options for this. But uh, other than that, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, so I just looked at the picture of the taco, and it has cilantro and onions, which didn't come on the taco, but yeah, well. <laughs> That's the first day. Everybody's getting used to the rhythm of serving food. Everybody's, you know, got things going on, but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, it's not bad. Food wasn't bad. And it's Memorial Day, week Memorial Day weekend, and I was expecting it to be a little busier because it's a Saturday, the day of the recording this. So, but, you know, not bad. I like it because, oh, there you go. <laughs> that is fun. Anyways, yeah, we're in here, checking it out. Not too bad. This used to be a little bar in the center island here. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe that'll come back during the season, but uh, looks good though. I like it. So actually, next time I might get uh, the burger next time I come here. <laughs> the burger, I looked at the picture. It looked really good. Had bacon on it, cheese, double cheeseburger. 
can't go wrong with the burger and go swimming, so yeah. <laughs> By the way, the inner tubes for rental is per day $15 for a single and $20 for a double. Uh, this is per day, like I said. And then if you have a platinum pass or a diamond pass, depending on what you have, you get a 15% off and a 20% off. So it knocks down a little price a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. I wish they had like a, some type of season pass to uh, get, you could purchase with your pass for here so you can rent, to, rent the tubes all, all season. So, but yeah, it'll work for now. Well, I saw the sign, I said, ring the bell. I'm not sure the bell's here anymore. <laughs> I guess I can't get good luck. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. But anyways, the park is open from 11 till 5 every I think, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday right now. So, Oh, and it's open Monday, Memorial Day too for you guys. So there you go. Alright guys, well that's going to do it today here at Hurricane Harbor. I just want to cover that for you and uh, by the way, so the season passes, I do recommend paying for a season pass. They're only a $175 per pass if you can fork it out. You can also make payments on it and uh, if you want to get the pass below that, well the $175 covers all Hurricane Harbors and Six Flag Parks. So and it gets you for 15% off on a purchase and gives you discounts on additional food and uh, that's not including a food pass by the way. Um, you can also get for $99 a season pass for just Discovery Kingdom and Hurricane Harbor or you can pay $50 just for Hurricane Harbor if you just want to do Hurricane Harbor all season which isn't bad it's not bad at all so definitely recommend doing that but uh, yeah so I'm not sure what's gonna happen once they merge with uh, Cedar they might just keep it with Six Flags with Six Flags and Cedar with Cedar and uh, who knows they might not even be a pass how they do with like uh, you know kinda, kinda like they do with Disney you know they can't get a season pass for both west and east coast so they might just do their own individual thing over here to keep them separated so it's not bad like i said 175 for six flags all six flags parks including magic mountain which is a really big park down south guys if you have not been there i highly highly recommend it which i do have some breaking news for you guys we are heading down there in about almost two weeks from now We're gonna be doing universal studios and Disneyland, which I'm super excited. So, <laughs> got a, a few days off during the week. Gonna head down there and uh, yeah, guys, I'm super excited. I have had this season pass for Disney almost a year now. I have not gone once. And same thing with Universal. Last time I was there was back in January, February. So I've only been there once since I've had my season, actually twice since I've had my season pass for Universal. And then uh, as far as Six Flags goes, maybe three times, four times. So. We're overdue, guys. We're overdue. We're gonna head down there, have some fun, and uh, see what else we can get into down there. There's a few other things I'm looking at, so we'll see. Maybe a Warner Brothers Studio tour, or uh, yeah, maybe something else. So whatever else pops up. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have not been here before, and you guys are new to this, uh, I said I recommend just subscribing. It's hard for me to say that because I don't really like pushing myself out there. But a lot of you guys have been pushing me, tell me to push myself, and uh, tell you guys to subscribe. So people see me recording and I gotta hit the gas pedal <laughs> but anyways uh yeah so subscribe and I will be here more often uh well I am gonna be here more often plus uh Discovery Kingdom and uh, Magic Mountain so anyways I uh, love you guys all and uh, thank you guys all for watching and uh yeah I'm trying to get down to a Great America we got about four or five hours to the close and uh yeah anyways I'll see you guys next one my name is Eldon and uh have a good day bye